We've gone to great lengths to promote the important data you need right in the software. Um, regardless of whether that's a detailed record of an asset or a summary rollup of a group of assets. Uh, but there still may be times when you need to export some data out of, the, out of Cartograph. Uh, let's take a look at two ways to do that. So I'm going to go over here to the software, and I'm sitting on a list view, my task list view, and in the upper right hand corner you'll notice this icon. This feature is what we called our list view export. And uh, it's available on virtually all of our list views without, throughout the system. So if I go ahead and click on this, which I'll do now, it immediately asks me what I want to do with it. This is browser dependent, so if you have Chrome, it automatically downloads. Firefox is what I'm using here, so it's going to ask me if I want to save it or if I want to open it up. And uh, it's going to save a CSV file. I'm just going to say open it up here. And it <clears throat> takes a second for it to launch. Uh, but it's going to export that stuff out into a CSV file. I get it right here on my screen. And what it exported is the contents that I had displayed on my screen. So when I had my list view set up originally, I've chosen the columns and all in the order and all that stuff. That's what it exports. I don't get any control over which columns do I want to export or any, anything else. It immediately started downloading that data. You can secure it, if you'd like, through the administration area. Uh, and it, so if you wanted to set up a role where certain people had the ability to export and certain others did not, you could set, specify that. And the people who don't just simply, don't, they just don't get this icon at all. Um, a typical case might be, I'm looking at a list here of data, and I want to um, throw it into Excel real fast and use the charting functionality within Excel to plot some sort of graph or whatever. Uh, the second type of uh, exporting capability would be our import-export feature within administration. So I'm going to switch over and show you that now. Uh, so if I come over here, you'll notice that I'm on the import-export screen. I have already created my format file for this particular export. That format file specifies or allows you to specify things like which columns of data you want to include in the export. Uh, you can also include things like a filter. So I don't want all of my tasks or my fuel log records. I only want the ones from June, or I only want the ones that are X number of dollars or whatever it might be that you're looking for. So uh, if I come over here and click on the export button, I'll be presented with a dialog. And uh, I, I come through and I've already again set up my format file, so I'm going to choose which one it is. Uh, this time I, I'm doing a fuel log for equipment, so that's under resources. I'll uh, select equipment. I only have one format here, so it automatically pops in. If there were several, I'd choose from whichever one I, I was looking for. So I'm going to choose fuel. Start the export. The same thing happens with the list view export, where I'm promoted or I'm, I'm prompted with, how do you want to do this? Browser based again. Open the file immediately or save it to a specific location. Uh, I'm just going to cancel this out right now, or move it out of the way for a second so you can see here. But behind, you have this summary that shows you what the, what the records that were exported. It's sort of a little history as well as the immediate um, uh, notification of what's actually happening. Exports are really fast. It's a little more important when we're doing imports, but it tells you if there are any errors and things like that, and sort of a summarized view. Uh, a typical case for this might be I want to integrate it with a, another software system. So maybe I want to download all of my labor records or hours or something and import it into my financial system or something along those lines. Um, I hope that sort of demonstrates the differences between the two major export functionalities within Cartograph, list view export and the import export within administration.